Hello, my name is Brian, and this is Mercury. I actually got an email back from the Arctic help desk, or I'm not sure what they call it, <laughs> but um, Arctic help center, maybe? Uh, Arctic support team. Uh, I was uh, getting an answer to the email that I sent them regarding um, whether or not uh, my uh, multiple identities could have separate accounts. And, well, the answer should be pretty evident. This is my original account, and this character, uh, Mercury Aurum, or Aurum, I'm not sure how to... I guess it depends on how close to the original Latin you're trying to get while still anglicizing it. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, yeah, and I love this guy. He has been just a ton of fun to play in the past. And, um, as you can see, I'm wearing a Breaking Benjamin t-shirt with tattoos on my arms. Uh, and that is from the concert event that Breaking Benjamin had, uh, when I first played. And it was amazing, and I still have the entire, um, all the sets. Um, now, apparently, I don't have the guitars anymore. I'm not sure if I need to go look in the bank in my collections, because that's separate from my bank vaults, which I was surprised when I got there, because I knew I had multiple bank vaults. I didn't remember how much money I had actually put into this character, because I got a whole lot of dragon crystals over the three years that I played this guy. And, um, well, he's got eight different bank vaults. <laughs> so, um, there was uh, one original one. There was one that I got for finishing the bank quest. And then I, uh, had to pay 900 dragon crystals, uh, for the other six. <laughs> and um, a lot of that was, though, I mean, it was three years. And I did do the daily um, watching the ads to get 48 uh, dragon crystals uh, per day for quite a while. So, I mean, <laughs> it's not like I, um, you know, I, I did spend some money. I probably could have, uh, I think I spent about 80 or $90 on him altogether, including the guardian package. Um, and so, yeah, I'm really, really super happy that I got this guy back. Um, I'm, I'm actually really surprised my account was still there after being inactive for two or two and a half years or whatever it was. Um, so, yeah, I'm just overwhelmed with joy. Oh, and on top of all that, one of my dear friends that I uh, had lost touch with, I found within a couple of hours of logging on, and she is just wonderful. If she agrees, then I will, uh, you know, say post a link to her Twitter, or I will um, uh, let her join in on the YouTube video. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's all up to her. I'm not going to pressure her. Um, and I will be, if, if we do a video together, if we do a video together, I'm not going to, um, post it until I send her a copy of it or a link to a copy of it and allow her to review it and say whether it's okay to post or not, because, if she's going to be in it with me and if the, you know, chat box is going to show and our conversations are going to be there, then, um, I want her to be able to say, okay, I need you to not show this or, you know, whatever. Um, I respect her privacy. I love her to death. She's freaking amazing. Just, she's an amazing person inside and out. I just have a lot of respect and admiration for her. Um, so <laughs> now that I've gone on and on about how happy I am about these various things, um, I'm not sure 
if I'm going to play this guy right now or not. Um, I think so. I love Justinius. Um, but I've done Justinius's, uh, what time is it now? 9.12. So I have about an hour and 48 minutes before the servers, uh, start for the next day. Uh, and I've already done the daily things for, uh, Justinius. So he's done the daily boss. He's, um, done his class training. Um, I did not do the underworld daily, but I, I just have a, a whole lot of the, um, things that you get for doing the dailies in the underworld. Um, and I've had a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, so I was going to say dragon slayer was my primary class whenever I was playing this guy. Um, I did warrior specifically so that I could get berserker which is a lot of fun. It makes getting the enemies just so much easier. Uh, but you do run out of life quick. So if you need longevity over damage, that is not the best one to do. Now it's true that when you play Berserker, here, let me uh, pull it up. Now these guys uh, have this thing where the more, um, the more life they lose, the more damage they do. So they do their best damage at very low HP. Um, and But getting to that HP, so they want to be hurt enough to do more damage. But they don't want to be dead. <laughs> so, uh, especially when uh, I was playing a healer with Justinius, uh, I wasn't as worried about it in, um, in uh, camp. Camp Gunna Getcha, but uh, in other places, like for instance, if it was in the, I think it's called the Arena of Souls, I'd been calling it the Underworld Arena, but um, I believe it's called the Arena of Souls. It's just been so long. I went there today to uh, check out if they had any new uh, equipment. So the Arena of Souls is very difficult. You don't want to die a lot or you're going to lose a lot of your uh, ability to um, participate. And, um, and I mean, it's a big field and you don't want to use a travel form every time that you, um, because you have to be out of combat to do a travel form and immediately after you revive, you're still in combat for a minute. So it's like just as fast, if not more fast, not more fast, <laughs> if not faster to uh, just run over there. But you don't want to have to run across the arena to get to the fight. Um, so, uh, and I mean, sometimes it's like because you're missing something. But a lot of the time it's like because the bosses are so difficult that it's, um, it's hard for everyone to stay alive long enough together to, um, to beat the boss. Now, that isn't always true. It depends on who's there with you. But, um, some of the bosses, such as the Devourer of Souls, uh, can be very difficult. Um, I think the Chibi Dage or the Mini Dage, I forgot his name, but he's, he's basically like a tiny Dage and he's supposed to be cute. Uh, and he kind of is, I guess. But he does a lot of damage. It's like scary how much damage he does. But when you consider that he's basically the mini-me of one of the most dangerous people in all of lore, you know, it makes perfect sense, you know. All right, so, I'm going to do that down. Ah, I forgot. So, um, this battle fever, the ultimate... It says, embrace your berserker rage, becoming an unstoppable force on the battlefield. Well, not only does it do that, it makes you big. You sort of power up and grow in size. And you get <laughs> you get really big. And so, and you do a lot more damage. And it's really um, just a great ultimate. It's kind of a shame that's not the cross skill. Because that would be so useful. Um, especially if you were to get, 
um, the Berserker cross skill with Dragon Slayer. Now, Dragon Slayer does a lot of damage. He doesn't do the same. Dragon Slayer is a class that focuses on a single target, though. So, in some arena fights or with some boss battles, that will be great, especially since you get a uh, bonus. Uh, bonus damage towards dragons so if you're doing the acroloth challenge at uh the top of mount ashfall well then that's just a great class to be using um if you are you know by yourself doing the dragon uh uh battles in westmere now that's just a boss on the open map that you go to and you kill over and over to get um to randomly get or not get uh, the crafting materials you need to make some pretty cool equipment. Um, but so I've I've got guardian equipped now. Dragon Slayer is pretty cool. Um, oh, fifteen percent more damage towards dragons. Uh, let's see. Um. So, uh, so you can get a guaranteed critical hit when your determination is 50, uh, when you use Shatter Scale. That is the first skill. Second one, Fang Breaker, uh, extra damage and silence the target. That comes in so handy. Uh, the Mage class, if it's still the same, I think it is. The Lightning Storm that they have... Uh, that silences your enemy as well, I believe. Um, and that comes in so handy. So incredibly handy. Uh, Damn. It's been a long day for me. But Pirate. Pirate is a great class to have. Um, it's very useful. Um, I actually really like... Right. Okay, yeah, here we go. I'm going to equip my pirate class real quick. So you can see, I have the best guns in the world. They got little skulls on them. They got runes with knives on them. Little blades. Uh, they have what look like fangs underneath the trigger guard. And of course, they're double barreled. Because why not? Um... I love these guns. They are great. And, uh, so. Well, I was trying to get to do a special shot. Uh, it's, it's like a burst shot. Almost like a shotgun. But, uh, see this one. When you pull that up, it's a reload. But then you get a flak shot. Oh, just stay doing that. Okay, there we go. And uh, that does heavy damage and slows the target. It really does. And it comes in very, very usefully. Comes in usefully. It's very useful. <laughs> now, it changes their movement speed to 20% of what it originally is. Only for 1.5 seconds. But if it's running at you... Or if it's about to cast something, it can, like, really uh, make a big difference. Um, especially if it's trying to target you and you are trying to move out of the way. That is a very useful thing to have when you're doing a dynamic play instead of just tanking face to face. Um, so I think I'm going to use Pirate Class right now. Uh, and then later... Oh yeah, I got the dragon, the Legion Priest cape and the Legion Priest belt because I have some really cool things in the bank. I can't believe I took it off. Um, oh, but before we go in the bank, here's a little something to show you. I not only have ooh, a Breaking Benjamin uh, shirt, I have another set of cosmetic armor. The Surf and Skull Suit. It is basically a, a short swimming trunks. 
And when I wear them with the belt that I'm wearing and the boots that I'm wearing, it looks like pants with no shirt. Um, now the colors don't exactly match and you can, if at this angle, you can sort of see the, I, th I don't know if that's my leg. I don't think it is on the side of the swimming suit. It has uh, little skulls on it and that's like, uh, why it's called the surf and skulls swimsuit. And I just love that look. The, uh, there was something I was going to, uh, try out though. Now that my hair is blue, and yes, I changed it. It used to be black. I'm going to see what this looks like. Not quite perfect, but that is pretty nifty. That is very nifty. Um, yeah, I, uh, I use, oh wait, I did get it out of the bank already. No, I didn't. That's the wrong one. <laughs> so let's go to the bank real quick and I'll show you what I have. And this is great because I have like some really rare armors that take a long time and a lot of work to get. Uh, for instance, I have, oh, also I have these the white wings are the archangel night wings and they they cost 500 dragon crystals when you talk to thyton in westmere now that's going to be i believe the bottom uh tab when you select green guard in the um travel menu so if you click travel then you look at green guard westmere is on the bottom um, and you have to finish, uh, the quests there, I think, before you can access his shops. I'm not certain. I know you have to finish the very first part before you can even see him there. Um, but okay. Yeah. And I also got some things that were unique from events like this crystallized Aurora Lance. This is kind of weird, but when I got it, it was like, okay, this is a rare event. Um, like it was for, uh, I forgot what they call it. It's like the frost Moglin holiday and it's basically Christmas, uh, or, you know, winter holidays, not necessarily Christmas, but you know, Yuletide Christmas time, that type of thing. And yes, I mean, Yule as in the pagan holiday at the, uh, winter solstice, uh, it, I say pagan, it sort of became generalized, but it came from the Germanic, um, uh, peoples. So like Germany, Scandinavia, um, the ones that migrated over into Britain. Um, so like that would be like the Anglos and other Germanic tribes that, uh, went there as well as, and, uh, I found it really interesting. There were Danish uh, groups of people that went and invaded the eastern coast of Scotland. But then they started, uh, because apparently, um, it was easier to just stay there and, um, and live there than it was to go over there, raid, and then go back to Denmark. So a lot of people stayed there. They ended up mixing with the Celts that they originally were invading, and then there are a few of the, um, of the, uh, Scottish clans, the, like the ones that have the different tartan patterns in their kilts. Uh, there are some that are, have, uh, Danish history to them. And I think that's really cool. That's really interesting. Um, but I digress. This was a, um, holiday event sword. Well, Lance. And I gotta say, it is, I was about to say it's pretty flaming, but, uh, I, I'm just gonna say it's very prismatic and rainbowy, and there's nothing wrong with that. I wouldn't have kept it if I had a problem with that, but I do think that it's not something I would use very often because for one thing, I don't have anything to wear it with. 
For another thing, it seems a little ostentatious. Um, now, this is coming from a guy who, you know, does a lot of work in the past getting these, um, getting these rare, uh, the sword's a little bit better, but getting these rare items. Um, and this item isn't that rare if you were there for it. Now, oh, that goes great. I had no idea that was going to work out. Uh, yeah, and this is one of the winter uh, holiday sweater jackets you can get. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Crescent Wolf Glaives. Those <laughs> are pretty fun. Uh, I just think the glaives in this game, for the most part, are pretty interesting. Um, let's see. What else do I have? I have the Kestrel Talon Armor. I forgot how many daily boss trophies that took, but that was a lot of daily boss trophies. I plan to eventually get the whole set, but currently there are some daily boss um, trophy type things that I want to get, and that is going to take a long time. Aha! That is one of the most powerful guns in the game. So, so there. <laughs> I do use a cosmetic over it, but um, when I got a more powerful gun, because uh, <laughs> there's very few that are more powerful than the pink sapphire chroma bean, uh, when I got a more powerful gun, I replaced it, but I kept the chroma bean because normally there's an emerald chroma bean here. This one is the standard, oh, and it used to be a much lighter color. That actually looks more like a deep emerald, and I love it. And the gold, it almost looks like an iron color. It used to be very light green, and very gold. Um, but yeah, it is just, um, those two are great. Uh, and I'm not getting rid of them, even now, when I need to save some space. <laughs> but, oh, I've only got six, not eight. How did I think I had eight? Okay, so let's see what else do I have that is rare. Um, oh yeah, I do have some of the guitars. So that's a guitar that you just hit people with like it's an axe. And then there are some guitars that are actually battle guitars. And they have sharp edges to them and they look like axes. And those are very cool. Um, what does this one look like again? Oh, they changed it. That is swanky as you know what. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, these are the horns I told you guys about. <laughs> Still have them. That would have been sad if I didn't. I'm going to go ahead and move those over. I might wear them sometimes. Okay, and... Oh, I did mention the um, the unusual swords. This is one of them, but there is an energy sword somewhere. Is it in here? Yes. I've got two energy swords. And so these are the swords made of light that I mentioned before. Um... Well, I mentioned them. I don't know if that actually made it into one of my videos or not. But this, this sword is one of my favorite swords in the entire game. Okay. I need to stop for a minute and plug my tablet in because it is losing power fast right now. <laughs> and you will probably see a new outfit on me when... We return. Cheers, guys. I'll see you in a few. All right. Here we are. I don't know if you've noticed the halo, but um, I wish my name wasn't in the way. That is a really awesome halo, and I love it. I absolutely love it. And I've been wanting that since I started the game. 
I saw it like within a couple of days of having made my first character because it's in the uh, treasure shards uh, shop. So like the green treasure crystals or green crystal shards, whatever you want to call them, uh, it costs 5,000. And, um, well, I was lucky enough that I needed to save some space in the bank anyways. And I had a halo, uh, the, um, fallen halo of burning and it did not match anything I had. And I wanted the Legion halo so bad, um, so badly <laughs> that I, uh, ended up getting rid of my, um, uh, getting rid of everything I had that I could turn into shards and I had more than enough to, uh, get this halo. And I just think it looks great with those wings. They have Legion wings as well. And I'm eventually going to get those. I'm quite certain. Um, but yeah, this is just great. Now, here I am at the boss battle, the daily boss battle, and I have seven minutes. I have already taken the quest. I'm waiting for the boss to spawn. Oh, and I got a dragon form. It's, uh, I move a lot faster this way. Uh, they have all sorts of creatures and different things you can turn into. And I even have quite a few on this account. Um, if I go here, I have a Skelzard form. Legion Stallion is pretty great. Uh, Dark Shroom, Rolling Snowman Head. That was, I got by accident. The Rocker Drevere from the concert. Red Macaw from the pirate stuff. The Bush Root. <laughs> that one turns you into a bush and you barely move at all. I got a Wear Pumpkin Root from the, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, from the Halloween event, Mogloween, that's what they called it. I have a spooky Vampragoon. I don't even remember what that one is. Let's find out. Oh, it's like a Vampragoon. Area is closing in five minutes. And yet, I don't see the daily boss. I may have missed the last spawn. Probably while I was narrating this intro. Uh, but, oh, and he's wearing a cape, too. So, I'm going to go ahead and change that out. Um, so, Galvanite is what I had before. That's the dragon that I love. So, let's turn back into that dragon. And I'm going to stick around just long enough to find out if the boss is going to spawn. I'm pretty sure he's not because I don't think he spawns right before they close the area. So I may have missed him for today. Um, and if that is the case, um, then you know that sucks. But, oh, <laughs> you see those uh, creatures in the background? Sort of uh, mid-center up left? That is a Moglomancer using Moglin magic. Um... And I like how the Guardian um, aura, that sort of miasma, the blue, light blue miasma that comes up for me, it matches the dragon really well. And it, right now, looks like it's just the dragon's mist coming off of his wings. That is so cool. King Arthur. <laughs> looks like a Guardian to me. Hard to tell, though. Okay, those guys are killing grunts. We have four minutes left. I don't think he's going to spawn in time. I shall figure it out. I might go ahead and show you guys some of the stuff that I have in inventory. I went ahead and got the Legion cloak. Um, now, there's clipping in the shoulder. And when I run, it's really bad. But if I'm wearing a black shirt with it, such as... The Breaking Benjamin uh, t-shirt that I was showing you guys before. Then it looks great. And I love having the tattoos on my arms that go with the Legion Ravager stuff. Um, it's just fantastic. 
and I can always wear the wings or the back spikes when I want to. Yeah, I'm going to double check over here. No, I have not missed him over there. Oh, holy crap. We have three minutes to not only kill him, but turn in the quests. Looks like we might make it. <laughs> we are killing him super fast. I didn't even know there were that many people here. Two minutes. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's right. They need a minute for the thing. Okay. Yes! Did you see that? 1884 damage. Now, that is just how awesome Dragon... Uh, Turn in, please. No. Are they disconnecting right as I'm trying to turn it in? Holy crap. Oh, finally. Okay, and I got it just in time. That was crazy. That was absolutely crazy. And, um, let's see. Did I open up the Crimson Corsair shop? I did not. What have I done? I've done everything to open it. Right? Track quest. What did, oh, I gotta go to Gil's Grotto and get Megadon's teeth. That just means I have to beat the boss there. And once I do that... You know what? Those wings do get in the way sometimes. I love those wings. I'm going to keep them on almost all the time. But right now, uh, because... Alright, so like... When you have to go in tight spaces and still see if like other people are around you or what you're doing, then the wings kind of get in the way. Especially if you want to zoom in a bit. And like if you're in a cave, like I'm anticipating to be... You want to be close enough to your character because otherwise you're going to be looking from the inside of a mesh and the texture you're going to see is going to be the inside of a cave wall. So I'm going to go to my Legion trade back spikes. Although I want to see what does that look like with it? it looks good, but it doesn't look as good as it could. I love that cape. It's really amazing has the chains floating around. It's really perfect for some things, but um, that specific tone of black does not match the Legion Ravager black. Um, so, we're going to go with... Oh, the back spikes that I just put on. <laughs> and that looks pretty cool. <laughs> All right, so we want to do... Lozier Challenges? No, it's not. Pirate Excursions. Mysterious Caves. Gill's Grotto. Oh, that was a waste of an ultimate. Oh, there was one time I used my Dragon Slayer ultimate and I had accidentally targeted a very weak um, enemy and I forgot what it was. But like only one other person saw it and they were just laughing their ass off at me. It was someone I knew, so that was cool. <laughs> He's actually a really fun guy to play with. I have not heard from him in years. I did send him a couple of emails. If I find him again, he's probably playing World of Warcraft or something like that instead of AQ3D these days. Because uh, he was very much into WoW. Um, so... 
I think um, it's unlikely I will find him. But if I do, I would love to introduce you guys to him. Like I said, he's a lot of fun to play with. Um, and he's one of the few people that, you know, sometimes you meet people in the game that you can really relate to and be friends with. Not just online, you know, general friends. And I'm not saying that I've met this guy in person. What I'm saying is that um, this sometimes you build a personal connection, you know, and you're able to talk about things that you wouldn't talk about with just anybody. Or you're sometimes able to, um, you know, just enjoy the game together in ways that you wouldn't enjoy it with uh, someone that is just sort of a stranger that you play games with. Um, I got to the point where he was not a stranger at all. And um, while I was, uh, as I mentioned in one of my videos, uh, I was in a bad place at one point in time. I was recovering from some very uh, disturbing and difficult problems. And he was one of the first people I was able to really socialize with and build a connection with. And I don't mean that in like a gay way or anything. I mean that in the sense that I was able to feel like I could trust somebody and I was able to communicate well with somebody and build a, a personal interaction, a dynamic, if you will, that, um, and we worked really well together. I mean, we were very in sync I don't know if we still would be. <laughs> Things change over time. But, um... There's a lot about this game that has just sort of come back to me as I've been playing. For instance, the timing of the boss fights. There are some boss fights that I got the hang of when they were going to respawn. I don't know how, I just subconsciously timed it right. And so I would go to that area exactly when I needed to, to start fighting the boss. And, um, and it's kind of like that, where you just subconsciously do what you need to do at the right time, in the right way, um, because you're so used to, um, just so used to doing it. And, uh, so yeah, um, if I can get a hold of him, I would love for us to um, to do a. That's not Megadon, is it? Megadon's teeth. I don't see Megadon anywhere. Oh, I'm gonna have to do this a few times, huh? Well, I tell you what. I'm probably going to go ahead and play it, and when I get to the correct boss fight. I will show you the boss fight that I need to do. Um, so, yeah, head back to La Loja. And uh, just like with my other friend that I mentioned, um, if I manage to get a hold of this guy again, and, um, oh, see, those are the Legion wings right behind me. Wiz Domelador, that's actually pretty, Demolador. I don't know if that's a different language for something, no. but if you look, those are really cool wings, and wouldn't they go well with the Halo? Anyways, um, but yeah, so I think that if I can, uh, get a hold of him again and we play together for one of these videos, um, I'm definitely going to be, you know, editing it and then submitting to him what I've edited, uh, how it looks before I upload it. Because, um, just like with my other friend. I think it's very important to respect whatever privacy or preferences they have when it comes to uploading a video to the public. 
Um, especially since if I'm playing with him, I'm going to have the chat box open. Up in the upper left, you'll see these uh, things where it says general and guild. Um, I'm not going to open the chat box right now. I'll find like um, a private room to do it in um, where uh, I don't have any chat box history because I don't want it to be one of those things where... Oh, that's nice. 